let's discuss the Chiang Mai or penetrating vessel as the sea of 12 channels or and sea of five yin and five yang organs. The penetrating vessel is also called the sea of the 12 channels. Chung has also the meaning of qi, streets. Tong, activity, movement. Xing, movement. And tong, free passage. All terms that refer to the flow of qi in the channels, which are compared to streets, avenues, or crossroads. Since it is both the sea of blood and sea of the 12 channels, the penetrating vessel influences movement of qi and blood in the whole body. Under the umbilicus is the motive force in between the two kidneys which governs human life and is the root of the 12 channels. This is the sea of blood of the penetrating vessel, the sea of the five yin and six yang organs and of the 12 channels. It oozes into the yang, irrigates the essence. It is the motive force below the umbilicus and in the uterus. It moves upwards and downwards. It is the penetrating vessel. Hence here, chung means tung, motive. It is the sea of the 12 channels also because it affects channels nearly all over the body, except the arms, and because it controls all the secondary channels over the abdomen and chest. Penetrating vessel is the sea of the 12 channels also because it controls all the blood connecting channels. The concept of streets, avenues, or crossroads with regard to the penetrating vessel is worth exploring. In the chest, chi has streets. In the abdomen, chi has streets. In the head, chi has streets. In the lower legs, chi has streets. Therefore, if there is a problem with chi in the head, stop it at the brain. If there is a problem with chi in the chest, stop it at the front of the chest and at the back transporting points. If there is a problem with chi in the abdomen, stop it at the back transporting points and at the penetrating vessel on the right and left of the umbilicus, which is the moving chi or motive force. Tong chi. If there is a problem with chi in the lower legs, stop it at stomach 30, here called chi chi, and at bladder 57. From this passage, it is apparent that the penetrating vessel controls all the channels or streets of the abdomen and the alternative name of stomach 30. Avenues of chi is significant. In fact, the chi of the penetrating vessel emerges from the deep abdomen at this point, which has a powerful dynamic effect on the circulation of chi in the channels of the abdomen. Now let's summarize the penetrating vessel, a sea of the 12 channels. It controls all channels of the abdomen, controls circulation of chi and blood in all channels except in the arms, controls all connecting channels. The penetrating vessel is the sea of the five yin and six yang organs because it is the extraordinary vessel at the center of the energetic vortex created by them. It is the father of the other extraordinary vessels. The penetrating vessel is the link between the pre-heaven chi kidneys and the post-heaven chi stomach. So here is the vortex of the extraordinary vessels. And you can see the penetrating vessel, which is figuring prominently as the inner core. Due to its complex pathway, the penetrating vessel influences many organs directly. It is directly related to the three yin channels of the leg, kidney, liver, spleen. It is closely connected to the stomach, emerging at stomach 30 and the heart. Therefore, it is related to the kidney, the pre-heaven chi. Stomach, post heaven chi and the heart, the emperor, which are the three treasures of essence, chi, and mind. Now let's summarize the penetrating vessel as the sea of the five yin and six yang organs. It is the root of pre heaven chi through kidney connection and post heaven chi through stomach connection, influences the three yin channels of the leg, liver, kidney, spleen, affects the heart at the center of energetic vortex of uh, extraordinary vessels. 